I'm Josh Davidsberg. I'm a senior lecturer here at Merrill. So I graduated from Merrill uh, in uh, 2001. Um, I did one year of marketing and then 9-11 happened and um, I realized I needed to be back out in the newsroom reporting. Got my first job reporting. I was a full-time reporter for about seven years, all up and down the East Coast. And um, then the market fell out in 2008. I did a little public, public relations and uh, started teaching here at Merrill. And uh, while I was doing public relations, I learned how to shoot and edit. And um, uh, so now I teach a broadcast class where I'm actually teaching an MMJ class, which is both shooting and editing and reporting. So I was hired to teach that class. So we have amazing broadcast faculty. We have amazing broadcast facilities here. When I was here in 2001, we had three classes. There was learn how to shoot and edit, there was learn how to report, and there was 361 where you're putting it all together. We have so many options now for broadcast from podcasting to motion graphics to documentary. It's really like this amazing library that you can choose from that will help you succeed and get any type of job in video production that you would want. Our typical students come in with, it's like a wide range of experience that they come in with because, you know, we have cameras in our hands since we're little now. Everybody has a cell phone. You can shoot video on a cell phone. We're gonna teach you how to use those skills and to really hone that into true storytelling, right? How to take like cell phone video and make it fascinating and interesting to watch and how to apply our journalistic principles to that as well. Sure, yeah, so it, uh, it actually came out of my teaching, you know. Um, I taught an intro to multimedia class. I had a student who uh, did this great um, doc mini documentary in that class. Uh, after class one day I was talking to them and the student uh, asked what else I would want to do in my life besides teaching. I said I always wanted to do a documentary. And the student piped up and said, why don't we do a documentary on Muffy? And, you know, uh, five years later we were screening at film festivals across the country. We actually have a few professors who have worked on documentaries, so we've got like great faculty that we can draw from. Um, and Merrill's just been incredibly supportive it's almost like my research, right? I'm not a PhD, I'm professional track, so I don't technically have to do research, but working professionally as a documentary filmmaker, this is my research. This is how I give back to the industry and to journalism as a whole. Innovation has always been important to me ever since I was a reporter. I was always trying to figure out like what the next big thing is. I loved watching YouTube videos before they were just you know, cats playing piano. I knew that there was, that this was gonna be an important part of what we do and I just didn't have the opportunity to kind of sit down and like figure it out. And so, you know, I teach uh, very traditional broadcast classes. I teach very innovative and different broadcast classes. And then I teach the documentary class, which is a completely evolving medium. And um, I just love the opportunity to take all those classes and look at what we're doing and where the direction of TV news is going. Because if you look at TV news, it really has not changed since the 80s, right? Uh, it's still live shots, Vosats, packages, right? Uh, there's, maybe they include some social media in it, but it really hasn't evolved the way that newspapers have because it's never been challenged. But video is now challenging that. Newspaper video is now challenging that. Documentaries are now challenging that. Netflix is now challenging that. So I'm trying to figure out the direction that TV news is going and teach that to my students, right? I'm trying to teach them for the jobs that they have now, but I'm trying to also have them look five, 10, 15 years down the line, like where is broadcast journalism going to be? For me, like I just wanna be completely flexible because I wanna give my students the option to explore and like figure out what the next step is because I don't really know what the next step is in video journalism. Like I know what's going on now, but like I can, I want them to help me predict what's going on. So the key is just to be as flexible as possible and give them the space to work kind of in a lab setting, but for a video. We've always had amazing faculty. The faculty has have always been amazing and forward thinking. I think the biggest changes since I was here and graduated was just the catalog of classes that we can choose from. There were three broadcast classes, not even a capstone, right? Then 
CNS, the CNS Broadcast Bureau came in and we've just expanded and there are so many options. If you can think to do it, there's a class here for video journalism.